Hi everyone, I'm Jerry with the Scene Grinder team. Welcome to our first feature demo for the Scene Grinder Virtual Tabletop. This will give you a high-level overview of key functionality in the system and we'll be releasing many more of these videos that demonstrate the application in more detail. For now, just sit back, relax, and start dreaming about how much more fun and hassle-free your gaming sessions will be with Scene Grinder. So, Scene Grinder is a fully 3D virtual tabletop. The main advantage here is that things look great from any angle. For example, this 2D map looks pretty good. But if you change the camera angle, the buildings start to look flat and out of place. This 3D version, on the other hand, looks amazing and is so inviting for your players to explore. As you've probably seen in our videos, in Scene Grinder you can experience the game using a variety of camera angles, including our favorite first-person point of view. Not only is this view mode a lot of fun, but it solves a lot of game-related problems. We're going to go into a lot more detail about this particular view in other videos. If players aren't in first-person view, there are two other types of vision modes in Scene Grinder, Standard and Eagle Eye. Put simply, in Standard mode, line of sight rules are enforced. Players can't see what their characters are not supposed to see. And in Eagle Eye mode, players can see everything. Of course, Walking around in eagle eye mode doesn't mean it's safe. The GM can always have hidden monsters ready to pounce on unwary party members. Now let's talk about lighting. In this scene, we've equipped our priestess with a light that's set to illuminate for 20 feet with a dim range of an additional 20 feet, just like a standard 5th edition torch. Now let's turn down the lights. As you can see, the orcs close to our priestess are easily visible, but as we get farther away, the light gets dimmer and dimmer, until the world becomes completely dark, after 40 feet or so, and the rest of the orcs are now completely hidden. And of course, we take into account other lights which might be on the scene. For instance, let's turn on this street lamp. So there you go. We hope you enjoy using Scene Grinder as much as we enjoy bringing it to you. Stay tuned for many more videos because we barely touch the surface.